I just want to give a, everybody give a big round of applause to the volunteers who decorated the barn today. Yeah. I don't know who they are, but I won't embarrass them. So. <laughs> um, today was, as you all know, the riverboat cruise and the hike in the Shire. And since I did the riverboat last year, I decided to do the hike this year. And we had quite the merry adventure uh, Got that for right. those that went. Uh, and I wrote a little piece of nonsense about it. And I'm going to share it with you. We sat on a pond, past seldom before tread. Yet upon us was neither fear nor dread. A wizardly guide would not lead us astray. A dunadine ranger to clear paths along the way. Joined by hobbits and elves and men of the west, to see the secret waterfalls was to be our quest. Along the wooded paths across hills, gentle or steep, slowly making our way to the banks of the creek. Instead, we found a river swollen by the rain. A sol um, the sound of the waterfall nearby, that of a train. A solution was found, quick. What did we see? Hobbits building bridges of stone upon which to put our feet. Some brave souls, however, waded into the water cold. Becoming the adventurous sorts, tooks, brave and bold. <laughs> Helping hands were offered, as were sturdy walking sticks. But little did we know, we would soon be in another fix. <laughs> we continued along the trail, through shadow and through light, until we came upon what, for some, would be a wondrous sight. A renowned Tolkien professor, the stream he was crossing, Across an old tree, felled long ago, and slowly rotting. Those of us with courage this time dared to walk across the tree. The rest of us waded through, but alas, the falls were not meant to be. The creek proved too much, just a bit further down. And realization dawned, and we were forced to turn around. Up and out of the river valley, across leaf, grass, and tree, we survived the great hobbit hike of ALEP. <laughs>